Welcome to WeaponsEducation.com. As you know, my name is Tom, and I'm doing this video unexpectedly. Everyone's been asking what happened to Jeff, the cutlery lover. I'll give you the answer, and I'm going to give you some ideas on how to protect yourself so it doesn't happen to you. Uh, this is Saturday, and last night, Friday night, approximately 11 p.m. Eastern, I started getting dozens and dozens of PMs, what happened to the cutlery lover? His channel's gone. Jeff, where are you at? Uh, do you think Jeff would do this to his audience? You know how much Jeff, of all, all the people on YouTube, on the internet, of all the people who has more of a passion for making videos, I can't think of anyone else who has more of a passion. The man put out over 1,500 videos, had over 90,000 subscribers, and all of a sudden you think he would just leave with no warning? No, no. I've been in communication with Jeff, he's a good friend of mine, and um, I immediately found out what happened. Yes, his uh, account was hacked. Someone stole, not stole, they deleted all of his videos, deleted his whole account and closed it. Changed the password, he has no access to his own account. Okay. He's extremely distraught right now, as you can imagine. I'm going to give you some measures so this doesn't happen to you. I just wish I would have made this video a month ago. Maybe I would have saved Jeff's channel. Hopefully this will save your channel because there's one huge thing that Google did about a month or two ago. It's called two-step verification. I'm going to walk you through it here in a moment. You need to do it to your channel to protect it. <clears throat> Let's talk about Jeff a little bit more. What's he going to do? Where is he at? What's his mindset? Uh, as you can imagine, this just happened about 12 hours ago. Uh, his channel was hacked, everything's gone. And going back and forth with him, he's just so upset right now. I just, um, it happened on a Friday night. Google's closed on Saturday and Sunday. That's why they did it on a Friday night. So he can't even report it. He can report it now via email. And uh, there's a possibility that it, he could revive all of his old videos. We just won't know till Monday or by the end of next week if, if he could save his channel, his old channel, or if he has to start a new one. I hope he doesn't have to start a new one. If he does, of course, we're all behind him. We're going to get his subs back as much as we can all help. But that's what happened. His, his channel was hacked. He lost everything, and he's extremely distraught. And he has no way to communicate with his audience except for people like myself and other friends who make videos like this. But here we go. Um, Let's talk about how this doesn't happen to you. Okay, let's just talk about that. First of all, this is huge. When you have a YouTube channel, what you want to do is log out right now, and then log back in, and you're going to see a red bar across the top of your channel. Because Sesame Street was hacked on October 11th, not long ago, 2011. Mid-October 2011, Sesame Street was hacked. What kind of evil people would do such a thing? Two, three, four, five-year-old children are watching Sesame Street. They're watching Elmo. They're watching Bert and Ernie. They're watching Big Bird. And all of a sudden, triple X pornographic, disgusting images and videos are on Sesame Street. Yeah, Sesame Street. So, what Google did after that was they came out with what's called two-step verification. So what I'm trying to tell you what to do is this, to protect your channel. And it's not foolproof, but it's pretty strong. Log out, log back in, you'll see that red bar. It's going to ask you to uh, click here, click there, and then add in <clears throat> your cell phone number, your smartphone number, and then also, put an alternative email address in, okay, click save, and it's also going to ask you for a, a separate security question. Make one up, you know, like some oddball thing that no one would ever guess, you know, the name of your first pet when you were two years old or something, I don't know, something that no one would ever guess. Do that, save it, okay, but that's not enough. And you're, let me, keep, let me go on with this. Then what you want to do is save that and then click cancel. And you're going to come to a section that's going to um, ultimately say, um, <clears throat> it's going to bring you to your, your page there. And you want to go to personal settings and security. And you want to set up, this is huge, two-step verification. 
I'll say it again, two-step verification. Guys, you got to figure out how to do this to your channel. What it does is this. When you set up two-step verification, even if someone gets your password, they need your physical phone in their hands to get into your account. Because if your account is accessed from any other computer in the world besides the one you normally use, what Google will do, YouTube, is send a text to you instantaneously, hey, someone just logged into your account with, with your password, we're texting you this six digit code, you need to plug it in there. So that's, that's pretty strong. So that's a double, double password plus text to your phone for someone to hack into your account. Please set up two step verification. Gosh, I wish I would have done this before Jeff's channel was hacked. So add your phone number, add a secondary email, and set up two-step verification. Figure out how to do it. Do it. Do it, please. Hit that red, the large red bar and set it up. Now back to Jeff. We're going to try to get his channel back. <clears throat> he is, of course. He's going to fill out all the forms. And um, we all wish Jeff the best. Please pass this on to everyone who knows Jeff, the Keltner lover, all of his audience, so they know what happened to him. He did not abandon his audience. He's extremely distraught. And that's all I could say. I'm sorry, Jeff. We all love you, bro. We really all, we all care about you, and we hope you get your channel back. And if you don't, and you have to set up a new channel, we're all, we're all, we're all there for you, and you'll be back to your 90,000 subs in a month. All right. Bye-bye.